post-Brexit global Britain, of course, free now to do its own deals, represent itself on the world stage, set to put forward a target to more than double trade with India by 2030. I'm going to bring you all the very latest guys in this video, but please, if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss my next video. And do give this video a big thumbs up. So yeah, the Financial Times have seen a document, said to be a government document. It's of course ahead of Prime Minister Boris Johnson's visit to India. Uh, and he's seemingly going to set a target to more than double trade with India to 50 billion quid by 2030. Well, the number 10 note on India trade policy does say that to secure a full trade deal will be challenging. But nevertheless, uh, this Boris visit said to be taking place in late April, going to propose to India to cut tariffs on British cars and whiskey. Now, one of the reasons it said that the deal could be potentially be difficult to seal is because India will be keen to increase mobility in terms of having greater access to UK visas for university students and workers. But of course, with an independent trade policy, ultimately, that will be for the British government to negotiate and of course, if the deal isn't right for this country, the British government can walk away from it. But I think interesting that post-Brexit, global Britain now obviously engaging more with the rest of the world in terms of talking about deals with a target ahead of a Boris Johnson uh, visit to India to more than double trade by 2030. Let me know what you make of this, guys. Do you think there will be a deal or not. And as ever, if you enjoyed this report, if you found it helpful and informative, do give this video a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.